his will. Now, apostle, how I'll yield thou my will. Thy kingdom come. Matthew chapter uh, 6 and verse 10 says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, earth being me, and not the earth all around you, but you are the earth. You were taken from the clay. The earth, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in me, the temple of the earth, as it is in heaven. In other words, I'm summoning the spiritual things of God to begin to manifest into my life. And when I begin to summons those things by surrendering my will and taking on the mind of Christ, catch what I'm just saying, the mind of Christ. When I take on the mind of Christ, I take on the word of God. When I take on the word and the will of God, there is a shifting that takes place in me. There is a change. There is a spiritual transformation. There's a new power release. There's there's a new authority release. There's a glory that comes with it, with this new power and with this new authority. So when you surrender your will, then change begins to come in your life. Now watch this. When change begins to come in your life, all things, Paul said, behold, what happened yesterday no longer matters. Behold, all things are passed away. In other words, they've been buried. In other words, God has taken those things and he's cast them into the sea of forgetfulness. And the word says he remembers them no more. The problem is we hold on to them. The problem is we won't release them. The problem is we won't forgive ourselves. We hold ourselves in captivity. But when Jesus resurrects on the inside and there is a spiritual transformation that takes place in you, what happened in your life yesterday and and years behind yesterday does not matter because now you're moving into a new day. You're moving into a new hour. You're moving into a new beginning. And now the greater one, Jesus Christ, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Now he's living inside of you. So where the enemy would come at you, there is a greater authority. There is a greater power. Jesus steps in and he takes control. In other words, he fills the void. Every crevice, every crack, seed, root, and fruit inside of you, when Jesus come in, he begins to bring that, that shift, and when he brings that shift, change begins to happen in your life. So now, as you begin to develop, as you begin to mature, as you begin to die to your, your fleshy desires, in other words, the animal nature, which is the flesh, the carnal mindset, which is tradition and religion, those things begin to die. In other words, you're no longer seeking to please the flesh, you're no longer seeking to your, your will, but now you're desiring to know what it is that God has called my life to what it is that God has purposed me to. I'm desiring to know since I've got a new walk, since I've got a new talk, since I feel refreshed, revived, and renewed and